Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the next video in the Fast API tutorial. And in this video, we will learn about path parameters. Let's get started with an example. In the previous video, we fetched details of all the employees which we stored in the database. But consider a scenario where you want to fetch the detail of a particular employee. How can we do that? We can do something like this. I can create an endpoint which says to get the employee with slash one. What is one? One is the employee ID. We have not assigned employee ID to employees in our database, but we'll add that. But consider this is the employee ID. Okay, now I can fetch the details of one employee with the employee ID of one. Similarly, to fetch the details of an employee with employee ID two, I can just say get employee slash two to get the details of employees with employee id three i would say get employee slash three right so this one two and three which is there as part of the url is called path parameter so i'm passing this value or this parameter to the fast api function and the fast api function can use this value and fetch the details from MongoDB database. Now let's go ahead and add this employee ID field to the MongoDB database. I am editing the first document. Let's add EMP ID of one to this document and say an EMP ID of two to the second document. Yeah, we now have this EMP ID in both the documents. Let's go ahead and change the models.py and add this as well. EMP ID is going to be an int field. Yeah, so now we have the mapping correct. Now let's go to the main.py file and create the endpoint. So to do that, we have app.get say get employee and we have to mention that this is where we are going to expect the path parameter to specify that we'll use this emp id so this is how you specify the location of a path parameter the name of the path parameter within curly braces okay now let's add the function so we'll say def get employee now here we have to mention or we have to pass the parameter we'll say emp id okay now this will pass the path parameter to this function and i can just print the emp id as of now to validate that it is working so let's go back to the document so i have 27 slash docs i have a new endpoint here and if i go try it out and say one execute it i get one here okay so this is uh, the, the path parameter is getting passed into this function now i have to fetch a document with emp id as one to do that we have say employee equals we have to use the class so employee dot objects dot get so if we are sure that it, it's going to be just one value that's going to be returned we can say dot get and then we will pass in the uh, parameter so we'll say emp id is equal to emp id so basically what it will do is it will fetch the document with emp id equals emp id now this emp id is for the document and this emp id is the value that is being passed through the url now using this employee we can create a return dictionary that will be provided to the client so we can say something like 
employee dictionary is going to be something like this so i can say emp id is going to be employee dot emp id so see how we have utilized this so employee this one dot emp id will give the employee id of the document okay next we can similarly mention name is employee dot name age is going to be employee dot age and then teams is going to be employee dot teams i'll just make this look better now we have a dictionary that we can return to the client as a json so i'll say return employee dictionary okay looks good let's go back to the document and try it so i will say execute here with any mpid of one and i get this response so basically the details of the employee with employee id one so it's jerin juice age is 28 and belongs to both the management and technology team okay so that works now if you look at this and this you can see that it's going to accept anything into the function right so for example if we go back and enter something like blah and execute it it's going to throw an internal server error why because the mongodb is expecting an integer value okay but we provided a string value that's why the error came up here okay now to prevent such kind of situations we can use something called type annotation of python where we mention employee id is or should be an integer okay so this is the python data type of int okay if we go back and refresh we can say in the document that it it's asking us to be an integer right so now if we mention something like blah it's not going to execute okay if we come back it does not come to the back end at all so now essentially only integers will be allowed as the path parameter but an integer can be negative value as well so minus one minus two and minus three are also integers technically right so if i try something like that here as minus one again shows an error because there is nothing in the database with an employee id of minus one right and technically no one is going to assign an employee id in the negative to an employee as well right so we have to add that particular validation to this function and we achieve that by using something called path from fast api so we'll say from fast api import path so for int for this particular integer value we can mention the path put three dots here and say greater than zero this will ensure that the value is always greater than zero okay now you might be wondering what this three dot means this is basically specifying that this employee id should be required okay it's not optional it's required now if we go back to the document and execute minus one we get back a response but with a message saying that ensure this value is greater than zero now the client will know that we have to pass something which is greater than zero like one two or three so that's how you can perform validation on the employee id using path now there are other validations like less than or greater than or equal to 
less than or equal to etc you can refer the official documentation for uh, a list of more validators so that's it about path parameters in the next video we will cover query parameters thank you